my name is Belinda and I live in a dorm. And here's five tips on how you can sew while you're living in a dorm. Minimize equipments and tools to what you truly need. Dorm rooms are notorious for being small and cramped, while sewing supplies, on the other hand, are notorious for being so space consuming that a lot of sewers have their own room just to sew. So, how do you reconcile that with having to fit all of your worldly possession in this 12 square meter of room? You cut down on equipment. Sure, rotary cutters are amazing, but where are you going to put them at? And sure, having a tread board is incredible, but you don't have a space for them. Cut everything down to what you truly, absolutely need. Actually, here, let me get you all, and I mean all, of my sewing equipment. Here's all of them. Most of them fit in this pouch, and whatever doesn't, like that French ruler and pin cushion, fits in one single drawer in my room. Honestly, the only thing here that I can put in the drawer is my iron and ironing board. Coming from that... Improvise! Really, a lot of things that you think are essential to sewings are just things made to make sewing a lot easier. Pattern weights use all the things you have in your room. What I've used include, but not limited to, books, bobby pin holder with the bobby pin still in them, my nail clipper set, this tub of body butter, and basically all the things that are heavy and firm enough not to move. You need a French ruler? Print one out, stick them to a piece of cardboard, and voila! A French ruler! <laughs> Chalk for marking. Colored pencils are amazing, and they show up in even in dark fabric because of their different colors, and they wash up! Even my pin cushion are improvised. <laughs> Improvising, aside from not having to worry about where you put your stuff, also saves up on quite a lot of money. Sewing equipments do add up, especially when you want to have everything. And I don't know about you, but I don't have that kind of money. Also, it doesn't have to stop at equipment. I needed something to be the batting for my quilt and gamson, and I use that blanket you get on airplane lights because as an international student, I go on tons of long haul flights. Needed something to make my button covered fabric have a little more oomph? Use lint. The possibilities are endless. You don't have to do sewing the correct way, or even I might say there's no correct way of doing sewing. Just improvise. Learn how to hand sew and invest in a small sewing machine. I am a huge proponent for hand sewing because it is one, compact, two, easily movable, and three, it requires far less things to get started. A lot of us, me included, thought of sewing as this sort of activity where you sit in front of this huge sewing machine with lots of fiddly bits that you don't know what they do. Also, I like hand sewing because I like sitting with it in my hand and just going to class that way. Shh, don't tell my prof. Hand sewing is great when you live in a dorm because like I said, it minimizes equipment to what you truly, really, actually need. You can make anything with hand sewing. In fact, I made all of these with every single stitch being hand sewed. You don't need a machine. Besides, my dorm is one of those dorms that you have to move out at the end of school year. It doesn't matter that you're coming back here to live in the same dorm next year. They move you out. They make you move out. And not having a sewing machine is one less thing for me to worry about when I'm packing for moving out. Also, I'm an international student and trying to fit my life in a 22 kilogram suitcase is hard enough without worrying about the sewing machine. However, however, if sewing by hand scares you, there are options. There are plenty of mini sewing machines you can get. I'll link an article in the description down below for those mini sewing machines review. They don't have all of the fancy stitches like sergers and like all of those um, elastic and like all of those fancy decorative stitches. But honestly, you'll only use straight stitch, top stitch and zigzag stitch for most of your project. And everything else you can hand sew. There's also something called a handheld sewing machine, which is basically a machine that you hold and it just moves like this. It's handheld, which which where the name comes from, and it just sues for you. I I don't particularly recommend this because I think that if you've resorted to that, it's much easier and much better for you to learn hand sewing anyway. It gives you much more control. But the option is there if you want it, and I also link an article in the description for that. Go out! If you live in a dorm, I'm assuming your hometown is not the place where you're currently living. Whether you live an hour's drive away, or a three hours trip by train, or a 24 hour plane ride, your dorm is not where you lived before, but it is where you're living now. 
it's intimidating going out in a city you don't know well. But you're living here now, so you might as well put down roots, yeah? Go to your local fabric store. Go to the local craft store. They might have things you can find online. And who knows, maybe they'll give you a discount. There's always student discounts around. Find people around you who like crafting as much as you do. And then do it with them. There's always people. And there's always community if you want them. And that's always handy when you're going somewhere you don't know, you've never been before, and you're trying to make a life here. You're here, and this might not be home. But it could be. Be reasonable. It's not really a tip, it's more of a state of mind. As a student, there's so many things going on in your life. Of course, there's school, and then there's maybe work, there's volunteering, there's clubs, there's all of the things that's going on. Well, student clubs, so you might also want to go to clubs. But those are all the things that makes a student life a student life. That wonderful ball gown might be your dream project right now. But if you don't have the time or money to spend on it right now, Put it on the shelf and wait for a few more months. I promise you it'll always be there for you. Know yourself. Know how much time you can spend on a particular project. Know how much money you're willing to budget for it. And, and this might be terrifying for you. Know how many projects you can afford to do all at once. You already have so many things to juggle. Don't let this be another thing to juggle too. Sewing is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to have fun doing this, so be reasonable on yourself and don't stress out too much on what you're doing. And there you go, folks. That's five tips on how to sew while living in a student residence. I wish you all the best on the new semester. I will hope that all your exams and deadlines are convenient, paced conveniently, and are not on top of each other. And I hope that your prof are at the very least willing to listen to you. See you all next time.